Okay, so let's discuss swapping in the mobile systems. So what happens is, let's say if it's a traditional computer, then there's a CPU over here, there's your RAM, and then there's your hard disk. Now the thing is that if a process, if the RAM is full, so there's an operating system, and if the RAM is mostly full, then what, what and another process actually wants to run, then what will happen is the OS will actually go there and swap out some of the process and bring in another new process. And the hard disk, typically your computers will have hard disk and they will have a lot really big, right now nowadays there's terabytes of, of hard disk available. So that is not a problem. You can move in and move out any number of, of processes from the RAM. That is not a pro problem. But let's say it's an operating system, which is for mobile. So, so what happens in those case that you actually uh, have your RAM over here but the RAM can actually write data only on the flash memory. So the flash memory is actually not that big. And what happens is if you're writing and reading from this flash memory, this flash memory is actually not very reliable. So after a certain number of, of input out of operation, the places where you're writing, you might not reliably get the data out. So what happens in iOS is, let's say if your RAM starts becoming full, and it's very less number of memory is available, then your iOS operating system or, or your Android, uh, like your, your iPhones and stuff, what they will do is they will look at your currently running processes and they will ask them to relinquish some of their, uh, their memory. So what these processes, so let's say my P1 is running, P1 has, has some part of data which is read only and there's some data. So what P1 will do is it'll, whatever is the read only memory, it'll basically relinquish that part of your memory. So if your system is running low on memory, it will ask all the processes running that give me some of your read, read only memory. So it'll give them read only memory and hopefully that will actually resolve the problem. If that does not resolve the problem, what iOS does it, it starts terminating all uh, some of these processes and then that is how it deals with the with uh, with uh, with the uh, uh, like with the system running low on memory. So in the mobile systems, you actually do not have have the luxury of having a lot of uh, hard disk to swap in and swap out. Android also does a similar thing, uh, really uh, like what iOS does. It asks your uh, processes to to relinquish memory. If it does not have enough memory, what it will do is it will terminate. The process, but before terminating the process, it'll uh, it'll it will ask the it'll take the application uh, state, and that will so it will take the application state, and then it'll store it, and then when if when when it gets enough RAM, it'll actually try to restore the application from this application state. 